the Pentagon bans transgender troops from serving, um, and if someone is found out to be transgender, they're fired, and there's a rationale for the Pentagon's policies. And what the commissioners found is that the Pentagon's rationale for firing transgender troops is not based on compelling medical reasons or data. Um, for instance, part of the rationale is that uh, transgender people are mentally ill, but what the commissioners found is that, according to the American Psychological Association, that's just not true. And in fact, uh, the APA has revised its understanding of gender nonconformity and no longer considers people who are transgender to be mentally ill. So the Pentagon's rationale is really based on uh, very old science. The Pentagon assumes that meeting the healthcare needs of transgender personnel is a very complicated and difficult thing, but in fact the commissioners, and that includes the U.S. Surgeon General, the top doctor in the United States, uh, the former U.S. Surgeon General, the commissioners looked at all the evidence and what they found is that it's actually quite easy to meet the health care needs of transgender service members and that the military deals with uh, health care issues thousands of times a day and has a very sophisticated system for doing that and so there's no reason to treat transgender personnel any differently than anyone else in the military. Uh, we, we vetted the report uh, very carefully with um, a wide range of uh, scholars and military experts and service members, some transgender and some not. And, and, and the transgender service members, of course, understand quite well that they can serve without problems. Uh, they deployed to the Middle East and fought alongside their non-transgender peers without problems. And so the transgender service members who uh, we spoke with um, understand uh, uh, quite intuitively that the report is right and that the Pentagon really has no reason for firing them.